Rest in peace, champ. Que paso, wey? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Welcome to the funeral edition of the Fuck Your Life Boxing Show. Sad day for all the Juan Ma Lopez boxing fans today. Some tears on my pillow type shit that's going on right now. But you gotta get through this. To all the diehard Juan Ma Lopez fans, the diehard fans, stay strong. Put the gun down. Juan Ma Lopez, he's in a better place now. He's up there, he's training with God now. God is his trainer. Motherfucker, he up there shadow boxing in the clouds and shit. God looking at him, he's like, there you go. Slip that jab, Juan Ma. Bless that motherfucker with that left hand. Amen. So see, you, you, you ain't got to cry for Juan Ma no more. He's in the big ring in the sky now. But we do got to talk about what happened tonight. But don't trip. Because after this video, we're going to start the after party. We're going to be bumping some Don Omar. It's going to be a motherfucking reggaeton funeral. <laughs> but if, if you didn't peep out my prediction video, I'm going to put it in the video response section. Go ahead and check that out. In my video prediction, I told you that Juan Ma Lopez was just a shell of his former self. Had Juan Ma Lopez been in his prime, this would have been a far different fight. Now granted, I still believe that Mikey Garcia would have, would have been able to you know, pull off the victory. But Juan Ma Lopez, you would have seen a, a much different performance than what you saw tonight. I said in, those, I said in that prediction video that Juan Ma Lopez lost whatever made him special in the Matago fight and whatever he had left Salido beat it out of him and after that you know what was left is what you saw tonight you know, in, in his prime Juan Ma Lopez was was a great puncher but along with that al along with that great power he also had a suspect chin and his technical abilities were very limited you never really saw him outbox anybody a lot of the times he always relied on his power and he was successful you know with that for, for for a long time but as as he as the war started catching up with him as i said with Matago as well as Salido his body started breaking down and you know he was no longer the same fighter along with that you know a lot of the things that made him lose today were those you know uh, limitations in his technical abilities I said in my prediction video that Mikey Garcia, while he doesn't have an, an attribute that stands out as great like Juan Ma Lopez does with his power, Mikey Garcia does everything well. He's a very good all-around fighter. And the fundamentals is, is basically what killed Juan Ma Lopez today. That's why I told you, even if Juan Ma Lopez was in his prime, I still think Mikey Garcia would have won. You saw in the first two rounds, I believe it was the first round that Mikey Garcia landed 15 punches. 14 of those punches were jabs. I mean, he was killing him softly with that jab. And in the second round, when he dropped him, he had landed a, a clean jab on, on Juan Ma Lopez. Lopez tried to an an answer back immediately, and he lunged forward. And as he lunged forward, Mikey Garcia hit him, hit him with that right hand and had him sitting on his ass. Juan Ma Lopez got up. He showed a lot of heart in this fight. I give him credit for that. But uh, he never really recovered after that first knockdown. You saw he was very, very sloppy in this fight, Juan, Juan Ma Lopez. He was he was reaching with his punches. He was lunging forward. He was telegraphing his shots by throwing very wide hooks. And when you when you fight in that manner, when when you lunge like that, a fighter like Mikey Garcia, who who relies heavily on his boxing ability, it's it's very easy for a fighter like that to time you. And and that's exactly what happened. In the fourth round, you saw Juan Ma Lopez got hit with a huge right hand. H had him hurt bad, and he started doing some weird shit with his hands. You know, he started looking like motherfucking Danielson doing the wax on, wax off shit. And I was like, I started looking at the corner. I'm like, what the fuck is Mr. Miyagi training this motherfucker? What the fuck is going on? And after he did that, Mikey Garcia caught him with a vicious left hook. Landed flush. Juan Ma Lopez went down. He got up. Juan Ma Lopez exhibited this, the same heart that he showed in the Salido fights. 
he was willing to go on, but he was badly hurt. The referee saw that, and the referee stopped the fight. Good decision by the referee. While Juan Ma Lopez was willing to continue, there was no way he was going to win this fight. So just, just to, to, to save his health, it was very good that, that the referee stopped the fight. I truly feel Juan Ma Lopez should retire now. If he doesn't have any financial problems, there's no reason why he should continue fighting on. Go ahead and enjoy the fruits of his labor. I don't think that he'll go down in history as one of Puerto Rico's greatest fighters. But not that many people can say that they were world champion. So he could definitely hang his hat on that. You know, all the little stuff that I was doing earlier, you know, all that shit is just clowning. You know, that's me trying to entertain you motherfuckers. You know, the real shit is, I got mad respect for Puerto Rican fighters, and I got mad respect for Juan Manuel Lopez. I, you know, I really do wish him all the best. And, you know, whatever endeavors he chooses to go on in life now. As far as Mikey Garcia is concerned, Mikey Garcia did not make weight for this fight. He was two pounds overweight. Not a very good look for Mikey Garcia, especially if you just won your title in your last fight, and now you lose it in your next fight on the scales, not cool. Not a good look for Robert Garcia either, as this is not the first fighter in his stable that has had problems making weight. As you know, Brandon Reels, his problems making weight are very well documented. So for a, a trainer who just won trainer of the year, and two of your star fighters you know, in your stable are having problems making weight, it's, uh, it's definitely tarnishing the image. If Mikey Garcia would have lost this fight or looked bad, that, along with not making weight, would have definitely hurt Mikey Garcia's image. But he was able to win in, very, in a very impressive fashion. And we'll see what the future holds for Mikey Garcia. He did say that he was sick, and that, that was part of the reason why he didn't make the weight. I'll try and give him the benefit of the doubt, but we'll see what happens in his next fight. What did you think of this fight? Do you think that Juan Manuel Lopez should retire? Are you praying for him? And... Uh, <laughs> As always, if you like this shit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy Quetzalcoatl, sign the fuck on out.